What's going on? Welcome back to Financial Journey. So today we're going to talk to you about Lucid. We are currently in Power Hour right now. I want to give you an overview of what is really moving it today and influencing the price. Go over some of the current data points and what shorts are doing. Before I get into any of that, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up. And with that said, let's get right to it. Right now, Lucid is up 0.18%. Very volatile day. So 271 is the low, 282 is the high. Very low volume though. So 9.3 million shares have been traded so far. 31.2 is the average. These are some of the transactions that have occurred on the secondary market so similar to the last several trading days just big money is not really looking at lucid and like i've signaled in the past most likely they're just waiting for the next big catalyst whether it be gravity or some other aspect but right now institutions aren't really getting in so a lot of the volume being done today is just algorithmic trading which of course is being signaled to be somewhat bullish and that is because of two things one of which is adp non-farm employment so the data points coming out today are relatively optimistic so 148 was a forecast 184 was the actual so this is one of the two indicators coming out this week linked to consumers so payroll is coming out on Friday and so of course I think a lot of people have been waiting for some signs of cracking coming from the consumer aspect but they have been still just giving the middle finger to the market and just holding up like a champ absolutely key for the broader market and so far in my opinion I still stand by my stance and what I've said in the past they literally saved 2023 and so far in 2024 consumers still out there grinding making the money and spending it in the economy they've been kind of the only aspect that has really saved us from a massive recession so they still do continue to hit a home run beside the point though you did have powell come out same old same old same old blah 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 but he also did signal today that they do intend on cutting rates not too early nor not too late so that's already being represented based off of the sentiment so i have brought this up in the past so this does show as far as the june 12th 2024 meeting that previously it was around 73 percent so meaning there was a 73 percent likelihood that the market was going to see a rate cut now it has dropped because of powell's speech today to around 61 to 62 percent so I think that's still somewhat optimistic. Um, again, I think it's going to be more so now pushed to July 31st, 2024. But again, based on Powell's speech, he didn't really give any red flag. So I think that's overall fairly optimistic, even though he did signal for rate cuts to be kind of pushed. And that's been one aspect, right, that's been fueling the broader market is just the optimism associated to rate cuts. A lot of growth stocks that are heavily reliant on debt need that like not every stock out there has a good old big brother behind them that's willing to just funnel as much money as necessary to ensure that the underlying business is going to be a success so lucid is very lucky and as i've said in the past if lucid did not have their current circumstances and who supports them right now they would be easily a one dollar stock or possibly even less so again the circumstances around lucid are very beneficial for at least a long term today there has been no news from lucid whatsoever as far as sec filings there was two so there was a form 4 and a 13 d slash a so both are kind of linked it just ultimately shows the convertible a shares which were announced i think a week and a half ago are processed so all in all kind of good stuff so i think this is no matter what a good thing i'm not really going to talk on the preferred shares get into nitty-gritty of that i've already done more than enough videos all about that but most likely what you will see next is another sec document just registering the actual shares that these preferred shares are going to be converted into eventually right so not anytime soon um, so probably a couple of years down the line but regardless they will probably be re registering it um, so let me know your thoughts on that moving on to some data points so shorts are increasing so 345.96 thousand shares are being increased 29.57 percent of the free float is being shorted and that works out to be 262.1 million shares overall are being shorted cost of borrow average is 29.05 percent and utilization is 100 percent so based on everything that's coming out today this is somewhat bearish 
news and bearish data point so again you can't win them all shorts have been somewhat decreasing over this last couple of days so i think it was kind of due for them to increase in some fashion or something like that but a lot of the other data points are looking somewhat optimistic so when it comes down to options right now two hundred and forty one thousand dollars in calls being purchased versus 172 in puts sentiment wise 48% of all the options being done today are optimistic. So looking at a lot of the other EVs and growth stocks, like they do not have bullish options. So I think in reality, this is where you are seeing a sense of optimism. And a lot of people know that something big is going to be coming from Lucid. They just don't know when. And institutions at the same time, I feel like are waiting for the exact same thing. So once something comes out, then you are going to see a rush of value investors. Technicals will kind of signal the same thing, but of the call options that are being purchased, you do see a consensus for it to be above $3 by the end of, it looks like within the next couple of weeks. And then looking at puts, you do see a consensus for it to be sub 250. So I do feel like that's a pretty good risk versus reward. Looking briefly at the dark pool though, that has been very quiet. Usually this exchange is used by large institutions and shorting, but shorts haven't really been doing big moves. Uh, so couple like even one month ago they were doing like four million swings almost every single day now they've kind of tamed down like considerably so i don't know if they're just overextended or they are once again anticipating maybe something big to come but we'll just have to wait and see and as i've said in the past based on lucid's fundamentals all the data points i did bring up it can be a good squeeze play. It just needs a surprise catalyst. So hopefully Lucid is actually working on something epic to put out for the broader market to hang on to and justify both retail and institutions to get back in. So let me know your thoughts on that. And if you feel like something big is coming, do you think that maybe with their upcoming earnings roughly around a month away, do you think that they're going to be unveiling something? Because historically, the last couple of earnings, they didn't really do that, but previously like throughout 2022 and beginning part of 2023 one week before their earnings they always liked to put out a good piece of news that way they can use that as a talking point during their earnings so maybe that is when they're going to be unveiling the gravity so it might be one month away we'll just have to wait and see looking right now with it exactly at 277 it is trading between this s1 and the pivot so 274 has been a very strong support and holding up very well 292 wasn't really tested at all whatsoever today so that'll be the next target for lucid and unfortunately if this 274 is to break then it is going to trade between this s2 and this s1 so 260 and 274 so you'll just have to wait and see exactly what does come but there is behind the scenes a lot of the data points is looking somewhat optimistic especially if you are comparing it to a lot of other evs on the actual chart right now though you do see a lower percentile of the boiling band today is more of a consolidation alongside with yesterday you do see a bearish deviation though on the stochastic so red line above the white but despite that though it is at 30 so that is considered oversold so like i said if there's a good piece of news whenever that does come then you are going to see a rush of value investors causing it to possibly get into the higher percentile probably not enough for it to get above that 50-day moving average but baby steps right lucid's always struggled with that 50-day moving average since the very very beginning i think since like 2021 it's only been above that 50-day moving average probably like four or five times and only two of those actually did last the other ones were just for one or two brief days so let me know your thoughts on that number of retail investors have been getting in and you can see that based on the momentum indicator so despite institutions not really getting in you do see retail for the most part, kind of increasing their position. So I think that's kind of a good thing overall. So let me know your thoughts on Lucid. Have you been buying? Have you been selling? What is your thoughts, for instance, on Powell's recent speech today? Like I know it's kind of been the same old, same old that he's been regurgitating over this last little bit, but was there anything that stood out to you? But one final thing I just wanted to share with you, take advantage of this promo. Simply sign up for a new account with Moomoo, throw $100 at it, and they do give you seven fractional shares of the meg 7 so a 35 dollar total value so that is a pretty good return on investment considering you're just putting in 100 dollars. so take advantage of this link in the description below and also the comments with all that said appreciate all of you watching